Leslie Musqua has spent the past three months working in the warehouse of the Saskatoon Food Bank. He is part of a program called Creating Opportunities. His days are spent sorting through boxes of donations and creating food hampers. He says roughly three tons of food are given in one day. Pretty well you need two or three uh, incomes within one household just, just for that household to survive. Some of the things I see every day is the constant lineup right from the counter to the door every day. In one year the usage of food banks has increased by 17 percent in Saskatchewan. And even more concerning, 50% of those in need are children. Many workers here say as the need for food escalates, the donations have been decreasing. One hamper, just enough to fill a shopping cart, has to last one household two weeks. Musqua also uses the service. He has been a student for five years and says his funding doesn't cover the cost of living. It's very hard to pay rent and the utilities and especially food. I, I don't only use the food bank, I use other services within Saskatoon where I can go and eat. Director of Operations Deborah Hamp says current wages are not meeting the needs of the people in the province, forcing them to choose between things like rent and food. Food banks were never designed as a long-term solution for hunger and poverty. They came about in the mid-80s as a short-term response to the recession. And now we're finding that food banks across Canada are tasked with um, a job far bigger than they were designed. Statistics Canada reported in 2008 that food insecurity rates are higher among Aboriginal Canadians than non-Aboriginal. Musqua says programs like creating opportunities can be a solution. Around Saskatoon here, there is a high un unemployment rate of Aboriginal people. Programs that, I, that I'm involved in, such as this career opportunities, that's what it's for. It would be nice to see more Aboriginal people taking part in within programs like this. Hamp says finding that motivation can be a struggle on its own. Food is, is a basic human right, and we can't expect um, people to reach their full potential when they're struggling for basic needs such as nutrition. While there is no easy fix for food insecurity, the people at the Saskatoon Food Bank say all they can do now is address the situation and hope for more donations. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Saskatoon.